RBO today, guys, we have the Pickle Jar Survival Kit um, or the Survival Stash, whatever way you want to go about it or whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's get into it. As you can see on the exterior, we have a bandana cloth wrapped around it. It's also for protection. So if it's getting beat around your pack or in the boat or wherever you have it stashed, it doesn't have the likeliness of smashing. But yeah, I'm just enjoying that. Um, you could also put more contents in here if you want to secure this better. If you know not it's better than I do, you could just easily put contents in here or around here. Uh, fishing line if you want to turn this into an exterior fishing kit like I have on previous kits. Um, or just 550 paracord or hooks wrapped in duct tape around it. Whatever you want to do to move some stuff from the interior to exterior or add stuff to the kit, you can do that. Um, Go ahead and just remove the bandana. It's real easy. Just wrapped around it. And boom. A stained up dirty woods bandana. Honestly, couldn't tell you what that is. Probably charcoal water from filtering. Okay, so here we have our jar. Just a good old classic classic. At the top we have our P51 US military can opener. I just like to throw these in the kit, so it's always good to have those instead of not. And if anything, it's good to have something that, I was going to say dings, but it doesn't tend to ding that much. It seems to ding that much. Here we have our cordage. Oh, here. Oh, I forgot to mention. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven beef bouillon cubes in our beverage bag, but like in this, I'd be using my jar and putting everything in the bag. Uh, that would be the outplay. Here we have our fishing kit. We have our reel, or in our we have one fake lure, and our hooks and our sinkers down here, as well as three water-activated towelettes. These could be used for anything from fire starting to filtering water, to just uh, hygiene, as well as marking trails, whatever you really want to do with them. Here we have a pocket sewing kit. These you can get, I believe it's a hundred pieces for like 10 bucks on Amazon. So these are great little kits to have. Just make sure your thread can hold up. Here we have our water purification tablet and duct tape wrapped around it. This can be used for gear repair, which there's not that much, mostly for fire starting just to use it to elongate the life wider, like I said in previous videos. And then here, we have our little first aid kit. It's a glove wrapped in itself. And don't worry, we're not planning on using a glove that's on the exterior. We have two good gloves in here. So if you need gloves, you got two perfectly fine gloves. Everything's kind of jambled up, but everything still works the same. We have our gauze pad. We have our larger bandage. No, two larger bandages, my bad. Scalpel blade, cutting out uh, thorns and slivers. We have our blister uh, bandages. We have a cleansing wipe. We have our normal bandages. We have about three of these, I believe. Three normal size bandages. Then we have two steam relief pads. And then we have three triple antibiotics ointments. And then we just have the extra glove. Next, we have some tinder for a uh, fair same round. Just cotton balls. You could add petroleum jelly to those to make them more of a accelerant to stay lit a little longer. Next, we have a wire saw. Our fair serum rod, which is a nice thick, full ferro serum rod. I love that. I hate the half ferro, half magnesium. Next, we have a survival card. This one has a spearhead, a arrowhead, a ream and a hooks, and then some line catchers. We have some aluminum foil for cooking. This could either be used to cook. Uh, 
any kind of like fruit, vegetable, not fruit, um, any kind of thing that you forage or any kind of animal that you uh, gathered uh, or it could be used as a flat area, a nice wet or nice dry area to start a fire. I don't, I don't know what's going on there guys. It's a word jamble. Next up we have some UCO uh, stormproof matches. An adventure survival equipment magnifying glass. This is great for first aid and fire starting. Every survival kit needs one of these, at least one. A Mylar survival blanket, a rescue blanket. Again, I'm in the north, so you gotta have these. Even in the west, I would have these. Hand warmers, two 10 hour hand warmers. Make sure you keep everything in frame. Here's our little subtle survival signal mirror. And a survival card, a whole bunch of notches for different wrenches and screwdrivers. It's a great thing to have, a little saw on the side there. Yeah, boom. Our survival whistle, signal whistle. Clear rain poncho. Getting to the bottom. Here we have some snare wire, go along with the cordage. Operational button compass, I'm always gonna say this, make sure your button compasses work. All of them are operational, operational. Like that one took a second to catch on, I think it's just catching on to the blade. But here we have our Swiss Army knife, so this is a knockoff. Has the corkscrew screwdriver, main implements, the uh, scaly thing, scaly thing. Uh, the saw, the knife, I believe this has scissors, doesn't this? Yeah, this one has scissors. The other one that's actually so charming it doesn't have scissors and it kind of makes me salty. I don't know like why I want the scissors, but I just want them. Then here we have our mini Bic lighter with duct tape wrapped around it. Again, the long the life lighter or a gear repair, whatever you want to do. Then we have a mini flashlight. You could also add extra batteries for this mini flashlight, which I didn't include, but you can do that if you want to. And yeah, there's my little pickle jar kit. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys have anything that you change about it, go ahead and let me know. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Have a nice day.